Hi there, how's it going? Do you sell stuff online? Or maybe you design e-com shops for clients? A beautiful online store inspires trust and can create the illusion of a big brand. So, the images on your website need to be stunning. In this video, we're going to talk about taking product photos to the next level. Dig it? With a physical store location, you can see items up close and turn them over in your hands. Being able to examine them made you buy it. Online, you're not able to hold the product in your hands or smell the pastry. <sighs> okay, we've got that out of the way. So let's get to the nitty gritty. Photos should be crisp and clear, perfectly in focus and with no shadows obscuring the product. Take photos against a solid backdrop alone and close up. Easily create a studio in your home or workspace with five simple steps. Find an open area, preferably in a room with a lot of natural light. Affix a sheet of paper against the wall and the floor, letting it curve against the corner. Don't fold it. The paper could be white, another color, or a pattern. Place the item in the middle of the paper on the floor. Place a lamp on each side of the product. Set up your smartphone or digital camera, if you have one, on a tripod in front of your new homemade studio. Shoot away. As you're taking photos, preview them to judge lighting. You might notice shadows here and there. Moving the lamps back and forth and side to side will help you prevent them. There are no hard and fast rules here, so you can try lots of different angles and lighting. Zoom in to get photos close up and from several angles. Have fun with it. Taking pictures can be a blast. Now that you've got photos that show your product in all its glory, you'll take real life images. What is the product's use? What is its natural habitat, so to speak? If it's clothing, show it on a model. If it's jewelry, you can do the same. If it's pottery, plates, or mugs, for example, show it with some silverware. Placing the product in a contextual setting demonstrates its usefulness. It will also show scale. Take photos in natural light with no clutter. You can be playful or humorous with the objects you show in the photos, a bouquet of flowers perhaps, or a sleeping dog. This is a great opportunity to take a short 10 second video. It will portray an even more complete image. Use your phone to record a 360 degree span of the product. You can add the video somewhere on your site or share on social media. Back up all images, even if you took them with your phone. You really don't want to lose the work you've done. And you want to keep product photos clearly organized in dedicated folders so they're easy to find and ready to be edited or used. It doesn't have to be too difficult. Experiment, practice. The more you practice, the better you'll get. And most of all, have fun. Once you've taken photos, you're ready to upload them to your Wix store and show off all those beautiful products. Head over to your store manager and click the add a product button. Fill in its name, description, and pricing. Then upload photos. Recommended size is 800 by 800 pixels. We can't wait to see what you come up with. Share links to online stores you've built in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.